Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching episode 9 of season 2 of Vinland Saga. Oh, this season has been so well done, you guys. Seeing those callbacks to Ask a lot, seeing Source again, that was amazing. Sorfin has had so much growth over the past few episodes, and also seeing his relationship with Einar Blossom has been wonderful. The freaking harvest that they planted was destroyed by the retainer, so, and the last episode ended with them fighting. Thorfinn getting like PTSD, seeing his father, but like falling away from his father. It was quite intense and also pretty sad. But we're gonna be watching episode 9 today, so let's get into it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all if you're watching on Patreon or on YouTube. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's get into episode 9 of season 2 of Vinland Saga. Oh. 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 It's so cute. なんだ。夢か。父上殺されちゃってたよ。あちこち戦場を渡り歩いて化け物みたいな大男と戦って。It's not okay. Oh lord. Jeez, how long is it going at this? They're leaving? Oh god. Okay. I can't believe Einar is still standing after fighting four people. Five. Oh, so pretty. He's still here. Is that his dad? Chichue. Tatsan ya ga tonde kite. Chichue nanka. Chino niyoi ga suru. Huh? Dare o koroshita. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Fucking nightmare. Sumanakata Torfin. Oshie Nakerebaikenai Kotoma Taksanga Tanoni. お前を一人。ああ。父上。待て。待て。父上。お前に敵などいない。誰にも敵などいないんだ。傷つけて良いものなどどこにもいない。よう。いなかった。<笑> Oh my god. Oh, oh! Hold on. Not, not the pool of blood. Ew. Holy shit, this is how they're representing Valhalla. Wow. Literally a bloodbath. Bjorn? Oh no. Oh no. What? Are they gonna have like a conversation? What? What is happening? I hate 
I hate this. It's just so grim and dark. This hell. <laughs> we can't have that. We can't have that after what Thor said. Oh. He did used to be down there. Oh. What is there? You are not pathetic! Okay, it takes time. <laughs> They're reaching out for him. That's so scary. Thorfinn, you gotta wake up. What do you mean by that? What complaints? Oh my god, are There's literally a mountain of them. Man. God. The way he's just crying in the background. Is he gonna stop them? <laughs> How is it always ask a lot? Mentoring him literally in the afterlife. Whatever this place is. Holy crap. Oh, snowing now. Where's Einar? How long has been has he been knocked out? Jesus Christ. Does he remember? A true warrior. Oh god. <laughs> Lordy. Yeah, this is rough. And right when winter is on the way. Yeah, it, it actually was. <laughs> まで。生まれ変わって。
償いをしなくちゃ。This music is so beautiful. I was at the Hataka de Patero got me to get us to Hataka and Nobutani Arasareta. Wow, so you got to the good. Okay, she got you, my what's you in a Patero. She got on a Gamagara Kuritsurgoto, Sto Sorenka. Kitaira at the Orimus. He has his. He's a good man. Perfect. Look at them till that soil or plow, whatever it's called. This episode. This show has hands. <laughs> Those father figures, man. They're the ones that get me <laughs> this show. Thor's. Seeing Thor's beginning there. Seeing Askeladd. And then, of course, Askeladd is the one to help him out of his funk. To mentor him in his nightmare. Okay, so I think this is like the nightmare that he keeps having right falling down this cavern we finally saw what was at the bottom of this cavern it's just endless fighting he thorfinn's just so scared of like going back to who he used to be and now he's finally like remembered his nightmare remembered what his father and ask a lot told him one that he has no enemies and two to become a true warrior go find your true battle that's what Askeladd said. And that's what Thorfinn's gonna do. This episode title's called Oath. He has made an oath to himself. He's not gonna hurt anyone anymore. I will be honest. I think those retainer people, they deserve that punch. <laughs> maybe, maybe not a punch as hard as uh, what Thorfinn threw. But I think, I think they kind of deserve that, to be honest. That definitely goes against what Thorfinn wants to do with his life. They were being little bitches. I'm like so interested in where we're going from here though, because Sorfin has had a revelation. He has changed so much, even from like just a few episodes ago. And so now what? Are we gonna get into like what's happening with Canute and King Harold and everyone? Or do we focus more on Sorfin? This episode, it's like a huge turning point, I feel, for the show and so i'm just so interested in seeing where this will go what a great episode that was that was scary it was beautiful it was sad it was tragic emotional of course all right thank you all so so much for watching this episode with me and i'll see you next one for episode 10 okay bye everyone